Hey everyone, Cybe here. And before I start doing any type of raid guides or anything like that, I wanted to originally discuss about something and I was about to berate until they, Niantic actually changed it. it. What I was gonna talk about, which I eventually scrapped due to this recording I'm doing now, was the recommended Pokemon selection screen when you participate in raids, which started back in the very first day the raids came out. And it has been a pet peeve for people who do not know the Pokemon in the game and what to properly use. Because, of course, the term recommended generally means is a Pokemon you want to use on a regular basis against this Pokemon. Contrary to that, Niantic thought it would be a good idea to have Pokemon on that recommended list to have a more defensive against the raid boss rather than having something more geared towards Pokemon that are strong against it. Like usually nine times out of 10, this will happen when you participate in raids and it usually makes a big difference between winning or losing a raid with just a short amount of people. And it can be frustrating for someone who has the knowledge and willing to teach people how to raid Again, and also people who are stubborn and always goes towards Niantic's idea of recommended. So today, or it could have been yesterday for all I know, because I've heard uh, links in the uh, threads in the Silth Road Reddit saying that, oh, there was dragons being recommended for Giratina rays. And I was like, oh, this was also... Um, a while back, a couple patches back, this was hinted in the uh, APK teardown. I believe it was 137. Someone will correct me wrong in the comments for all I know. But uh, in that in that area, it showed that they were going to make plans of changing the recommendation system for raids from a more defensive-oriented part into an attack-oriented part. And it showed today. You'll see random pictures of other trainers from all over the United States who I do thank them for showing them the recommended uh, uh, play uh, lists for the day because I didn't do any raids. Then I and even if I did that day, I didn't put any screenshots like the idiot that I am. But but yeah, is this is a big step in the right direction. This is one of my pet, worst pet peeves of the raid system that's finally been fixed since day one. And it's so frustrating to have a group of people that I can finally get the raids complete and they can be happy that they can get the Pokemon that they want. With that peace in mind, I do thank you for my little rant. Sometimes I don't like ranting towards things, but originally the video is going to be out was going to be a big ass rant before I start doing a uh, any type of guides or what in my mind was going to be a uh, a guide of Pokemon that are generally not recommended by big websites such as Game Press, Go Hub, the Silk Road Reddit, any of those Pokemon. I usually like to use Pokemon that are actually strong, but at the same time. They're little sleepers. They can do more damage than you can possibly think. So I hope all of you guys stand by and take a minute to uh, enjoy the next f next few videos while I banter about Pokemon and all that stuff. You probably, probably don't even know because you're all Gen 1ers anyway. <laughs> but enough of that. Uh, thanks for uh, giving the time to uh, let me rant. I will see you guys next video where I'm going to talk about the... Uh, how I do raids with Giratina origin form and the sleeper Pokemon that you can use for those raids. Thanks for watching guys. Just make sure to hit that thumbs up. If you have any comments, leave it and I'll answer all your questions. I'll do the best I can. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.